Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can set up your monitoring for Kubernetes cluster using Prometheus and Grafana. So for this demo, I'm going to use Killer Coda Kubernetes cluster. I'm very, uh, you can say, lazy to create my own Kubernetes cluster. It's just too much of work. So I'm just going to use their cluster. You can see you have all this information on the side that it is 1.28 the version of Kubernetes, right? It, it has two nodes of two GB, so you can also just do kubectl get nodes to see that it has two node cluster with version 1.28.4, <coughs> right? So what, uh, why I'm using um, Killer Coda is actually it's very convenient, right? Because I think they already have Helm installed which I'm going to use to install Prometheus and Grafana. But I think Helm version which they have is a little outdated. We probably need a little later, latest version of Helm. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove which Helm, user bin Helm. So I'm just going to remove this Helm and then I'm going to download a latest version of Helm which is 3.13. So just do a wget. Just download it, clear the screen. You can see the tar file is there. Now I'm going to do tar. F. XCVF. directory called Linux 386 so what I'm going to do is I'm going to move and it will have the helm <coughs> binary and we are going to move it to uh, user bin helm and now if I do helm and clear the screen and helm version so now we have version 3.13 right you can see all right, so now I'm quickly going to install Prometheus and Grafana, and I'm going to use Helm charts. So this is first to add the Helm repo for Prometheus. Then I'll just do a Helm repo update. And then I'm going to install All right. Let's install it. Okay, Prometheus installed. Let me clear the screen. We'll do the same thing for Grafana. So I'll just add the repo. Let me just find the repo. Yeah, yeah. Add the repo. We'll do Helm repo update. And we'll just install Grafana. All right. Now, if you do kubectl get pods in the default namespace, you can see your Prometheus and Grafana pod running. I am also going to do kubectl get all just to get the name of the service of Prometheus and Grafana. Where is it? CTL. Okay, so you can see this is my Prometheus server and my Grafana, two services they are running, right? Cool. So now what I'm going to do is first I need to basically get the password of actually accessing Grafana. So let's just get that, and then I'm going to actually do a port forward because you can see it's a cluster IP right so I cannot access it so I need to port forward this and you and since I'm using uh, killer coda I actually have to port forward this on all uh, my network uh, network resources 
on all my network interfaces resources what am i saying anyway yeah network interfaces so i'm going to use this uh, parameter address and then i'll just copy this and hit enter you can see port forwarding has started now you just go to if you are also using killer coder you can just go to the three line over here go to traffics and port and you can see the services need to on all on all interfaces if you want to access it right so for custom port i'll just say 3000 and access so now you can see i can actually access grafana so username is admin password we just copied we'll just log in one second and we'll log in into our grafana the first thing we need to configure is our data source so we'll just go to data source and prometheus is going to be our data source So now here I need to actually do something like HTTP and my Prometheus server because that's the service which we are using, right? DL get SVC, my Prometheus server, so that's fine. And rest everything I'll just leave as is and save and test. And you can see successfully queried the Prometheus API. Now what we are going to do is I'm going to go on Google and search for Grafana dashboard for Kubernetes and just click on the first link. And you can download this JSON or copy the ID to clipboard. So let's just try copy the ID. Otherwise we'll just use this JSON format. And now go to home, uh, dashboards let's say import dashboard let's paste the id which we did and let's load it for your data source just select prometheus and set import and you can see you will have a beautiful dashboard which gives you a lot of information like cluster pod usage cluster cpu usage memory usage disk usage and a lot of plethora of information which is there right all your pods which are running you can see there basically deployment replicas and i mean this is like the deep you just i just got it from grafana labs you can create your own uh, customized dashboards but since i mean that is out of scope for this video because i mean everyone has a different kind of uh, requirement right so uh, i cannot cover everything but yeah i mean for basic dashboards uh, I think this is a perfect example because you get a lot of information from them. You can do a Google search on different kind of dashboards for Prometheus using Prometheus as a data source and you'll get a lot of other dashboards as well. Anyway, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to cover for this video. I hope you guys like this video. Please do subscribe to the channel before leaving and thank you for watching.